I'll do it for you, I do it for the novelty. Hey yo, it's Kev, and this is Getting Started as a Music Artist, part five. In this video, we're gonna talk about regular studio versus home studio. Which one's the best for you? Are you gonna look into tracking your vocals and mixing and mastering at a local studio? You can, you're more than welcome to. But here's a couple things to be aware of. Beware of the reputation of studios. Ask around, see what their rates are like. See if they have engineers who milk your time. Meaning, if they have a studio minimum of three hours per session, is that engineer doing everything they can within that three hours, or are they taking smoke breaks? Are they taking a lot of bathroom breaks? Are they trying to tell you, oh, we may need a couple more hours, it's gonna be X amount of dollars. Just be careful, whatever you choose to do with that. What I recommend is getting you a home studio setup, tracking your vocals yourself, and then outsourcing your mixing and mastering from there. In the Getting Started as a Music Artist guide at the link in this description, I give you a breakdown of what it'll cost you to get a home studio set up. And let me tell you, you could do it for under $1,000. That's if you already have a computer. If you don't have a computer, you're getting a home studio set up for somewhere around $3,500 at the minimum. But if you think about it, that $3,500 is a great investment into your long-term music career. I recommend the second option because you can get yourself a good DAW, digital audio workstation, and YouTube is your best friend. You can learn how to do these things. You can learn how to track your vocals. You can learn how to mix your vocals if you wanted to. Or you can hit me up in my email. I'll walk you through it absolutely free. I'm not gonna charge you for a one-on-one -on -one consultation. That's ridiculous to me. All right, let's recap. So you have the finding a studio in your local area, purchasing your own gear and setting up a home studio in your bedroom, which is exactly where mine was. Up until 2019, when I purchased my home with my wife and my family, I built a nine by nine room in my garage, which is where I'm making this video from, my home studio. I hope this video was helpful and it gave you a few things to think about. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, the Getting Started as a Music Artist guide is absolutely free at the link in the description. Have a good one.